Hi everyone, welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Animal Farm, we draw all sorts of animals. So let's draw. Today I'm going to show you how to draw this cute little ladybug. So let's begin. This is what you'll need for today's drawing lesson. You're going to need a piece of paper. I have a dollar store drawing pad. It's eight and a half by 11 inches wide. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, and if you have an old paintbrush lying around that you haven't used for painting, it works really well to brush the dust and eraser bits off your page. I have a fine tip black marker. That just means that the tip is small, a fine tip. Okay, I'm going to be using that to outline. And we're only using two colors today, red and black. I'm using Sharpie markers. You can use any marker or any coloring pencil or crayon. If you're using markers though, I suggest that, hold on, you put a piece of paper, just a scrap paper underneath your drawing page because you don't wanna get that marker onto your next page or onto your table. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to draw the ladybug with pencil and then I'm going to outline with my fine tip black marker and I'm going to erase my pencil lines. Now that's optional. You don't have to erase them if you don't want to. Just make sure that your marker is dry before you erase, okay? So why don't we begin? Let's start with the ladybug's head. She's got a bit of an oval head just like that and her body watch how I, I draw her body it's kind of round but behind her you see kind of like a, a long egg shape but it's behind her head and then we're going to draw some legs she's got four legs just a line and a circle a line and a circle a line and a circle, a line and a circle. All right. Now let's draw along her back, we're going to draw a stripe, but it's gonna come out a little bit at the end. So watch how I do one side. It's straight and then I kind of make it a curve like that. And the same thing on this time, on this side, it's straight the little curve at the end and around her this side and this side of her back we're going to draw some circles because ladybugs have these spots and you can draw little half circles like that on the sides as many or as few as you want. And on this side as well here, okay? It's definitely ladybug season. <laughs> I have lots of little circles here. There we go. So what I'm gonna do right away is draw her face. Now I'm gonna draw two kind of big oval eyes, like an egg shape, and then another oval right in the bottom of that one. Same thing for her other eye, kind of a big oval shape and then a smaller oval in the middle. And let's draw her mouth. She's got a smile, so we've got a smile like this, and then the bottom part like that. <laughs> and that's all we're gonna do for now with the pencil. Now, if you are outlining like I am, you can take your black marker now and outline everything. Everything you just drew, outline it with the black marker. And if you're erasing your pencil, you don't have to worry too much about getting outside the lines because you're gonna be erasing it, right? So I'm not gonna worry too much about that. 
You might hear my dog Jack in the background. He's snoring and sniffling. <laughs> Okay, I'm outlining all of the circles too. And like I said, I'm erasing my pencil, so I don't really care if I get outside the lines or not. And while I'm down here, I'm gonna do her, her legs too. She's got little antennas, but we'll put that on her after, okay? That'll be our little detail work after. All right. And I'm gonna outline her eyes also. Now, for her eyes, I'm going to, I think, make them round instead of oval. You see what I did here? I left a little space underneath. That's what I'm going to do. Now, what I want you to do at this point, if you're going to erase, make sure your marker is dry. You could go like this, look on your finger. If you don't have any marker or if it hasn't smudged, then it's dry, okay? But if it's smudged a little on your finger, you might need to wait a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and very lightly, lightly, lightly erase all of my pencil marks. And I'm saying lightly because if you press too hard on your paper, sometimes you could tear the paper. And we don't wanna tear our paper. I know that this is dollar store paper, and um, if we rip the dollar store paper, okay, well, we'll get another piece of paper, but when you start to use expensive canvases and expensive paper and stuff like that, you're gonna wanna be really, really careful not to rip your paper. So it's good practice now to be careful on any type of paper, even if it's scrap paper. Be careful to erase very gently and if you have to erase a couple of times to get the pencil off, go ahead and erase a couple of times lightly. It's better than pushing down really hard and ripping the paper. Well, she's looking pretty happy already. <laughs> okay. Now what I'm going to do is start with the red. So what I'm doing is everything around her spots are red. Her spots are going to be black and that stripe is going to be black. So I'm going to fill in everything else red. I'm going to try not to get any red into the spots, but it doesn't really matter. You see, I got a little red into that spot. That's all going to be black anyway. So it's, it's not that big a deal if I get a little red into the areas that are gonna be black. Her face is gonna be black too. So if I accidentally went like that, uh oh, that's okay. Her face is gonna be black. So I'm just gonna fill in the red. This is just for fun, my friends. You know, we're, we're having some fun today. We don't wanna be perfect, right? And the top side also I'm outlining first because for me that's easier to do okay and now I'm just gonna color in some red and I'm gonna try not to get into the circles but like I said if I do no big <laughs> no biggie ladybugs are very pretty although <laughs> when I first moved into my house here I actually had a ladybug problem there were so many ladybugs inside the house 
It's because when I bought my house, no one had lived here in a while. And there was um, a crack in one of the walls in the basement. And ladybugs were coming in and they were building nests. So in the spring, there were hundreds of ladybugs in the house and they are pretty, but I don't want to live with bugs, a hundred bugs in my house. <laughs> so the next year, I made sure that that crack was closed up. There were still a few that came into the house that had nested over the winter. But now that that, uh, that hole in the wall, basically that little crack in the wall is fixed, I don't have any ladybugs in the house, which is very nice. My cat Oscar was chasing them. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> he was running around the house like a crazy cat chasing those ladybugs. But they were faster than he was. <laughs> so you see, I'm kind of, I'm getting some red into those circles, but it doesn't matter. Like I said, we're going to be putting black marker in there. Or you're going to be putting black crayon or black coloring pencil. I know I've said this before, but the only thing I don't like about these Sharpie markers is that they stink. <laughs> I hate the smell of them. Okay, well I've got one side done, so I'm going to start the other side. And if you're using a marker, Sharpies dry really, really quickly. But if your marker is still wet on this side, be careful not to put your hand on because you might smudge everything, okay? If you want it to be a little more creative, you could use watercolor paints to do a nice ladybug. I think that would look really nice. Maybe one day I'll, I'll do a video on how to do that with watercolor paints. Or even acrylic paint would look nice too. How are you guys doing? Do you like ladybugs or do you have ladybugs where you live? marker, yuck. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm done with my red. Now the only other color, like I said, we're using is black, so and basically what we're going to do is we're going to fill in the stripe and all the dots and then we'll work on her face okay i'm going to start with my dots or my spots you see even though i got some red in there it doesn't matter because you can't even see it i'm starting at the top here She's looking pretty good. She's got nice black spots on her. I love the way that looks. Now I'm going to fill in that stripe with black because I'm working from top to bottom here. And I've said this before, I like to outline before I color in because it helps 
guide me as to where I need to put my, my color. That's just the way I do it. So now that it's outlined, I can say, okay, I, I need to color all of that in. done. I'm going to continue and I'm going to do all of the spots and then I'm going to outline and color in her, her legs as well. All right. Hope you guys are doing okay. Do you like the way it's looking? You know that ladybugs are a symbol of good luck? Did you know that? If you see a ladybug, just by chance, I mean not like in my house when I had hundreds of them, they nested there. But if you're out and by chance you see a ladybug, that means you're going to have some good luck in your life. If you believe in that kind of thing. I think it's kind of neat. So if you ever see a ladybug, if you're outside and a ladybug just comes into your view pops onto a flower in front of you or you see it on your arm or something, make a wish. Because <laughs> she is good luck. See what I'm doing here? I'm just going over this and coloring in her little feet. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to color in her whole face, but don't get any black into her eyes or into her mouth, okay? And I'm doing what I normally do. I'm outlining because that's just the way I do things to help me figure out where my black is going to go. smile too. I'm going to outline that because I want to keep her smile white. Okay, now I'm going to fill in all of the black. Remember we put that little red in there just as a test? The black completely covers it up, all right? Oh, Jack is really snoring. He's lying on top of my bed and he's right by the window so he's in the sunshine. And you know how dogs and cats and some people have house goats. <laughs> my friends have a goat that lives in the house for now. So any kind of pet that is in the house, sometimes they like to sleep in the sun. On top of the bed or on a cushion in the sun, they like to be warm. And when Jack is in the sun, he falls asleep real quick and he snores really loud. It's very cute. <laughs> All right. How are you guys doing? Doing okay? Are you happy with your ladybug? pretty good. Okay, I'm going to fill in that circle for her eye, for both of her eyes, I mean. <laughs> okay, so last but not least, let's put her antenna on, her antennae, if you say that properly. Watch, just like that. And then on the other side, the same thing, but opposite. There we go. There's our cute little ladybug. Oh, this was a lot of fun. Now my friends, remember I want you to sign your work. 
always sign your work because I want you to be proud of the beautiful work of art that you just created. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson, my friends. And remember to mom and dad, if you post your kids' art on Instagram, don't forget to tag me. The link is in the description below or in the About section of my channel. So we'll see you next time on Animal Farm. Thanks for watching. Bye.